who is the female vocal equivalent of Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freewoman. Julie Andrews. The only lady narrator I can think of on the spot really. Love hearing her voice in Bridgerton as Lady Whistledown. NGL I want to hear her say XOXO Gossip Girl just for shits and giggles. Now that you mention it, Kristen Bell should be on this list. Not number one, but top ten for sure. Kate Blanchett. All shall love me in despair. Too bad my favorite quote didn't make it into the movie, Sam, I wish you would take his ring, my lady. You'd set things right. You'd make some people pay for the things they've done. Galadriel, yes, Sam, that's how it would start. But that's not how it would end. At least, that was in an audiobook I heard a while ago. Gotta check the book again. Sigourney Weaver. She narrated Planet Earth, before they replaced her with Oprah. I used to put one of those DVDs on to fall asleep to in Iraq. Her voice is like someone softly rubbing your head as you fall asleep. I almost got into a fist fight with a friend over this. Sign Ernie Weaver's narration is so ducking far ahead of Oprah's stunt casting. Character Actress Margot Martindale That's esteemed character actress Margot Martindale. Esteemed character actress and fugitive from the law Margot Martindale. What is this, a crossover episode? Hey, Erica. Judy Dench. Shore Agadashlu. She sounds like a cement mixer that just finished a carton of Lucky Strikes. I love this woman. She sounds like gravel and velvet and smoke. She is the only correct answer to this question. Goddamn. She was the only one I thought of, when I read the question. And then there were like four other top comments, and every one of them made me go what? No. It's Shore. Obviously. Eartha Kitt. Is that my voice? Helen Mirren. Kathleen Turner. Fun fact, she was very pregnant while recording the voice for Jessica Rabbit, so pregnant that her water broke in studio. I just always found that funny, especially after having my kids, to sound sexy but feeling like a butterball turkey would be something lol. The last thing I remember seeing her in was the voice of the Monster House. I hope she's being immortalized in lots of audiobooks or something these days. We'll always have Romancing the Stone. Probably my favorite romance movie of all time. Joan Wilder, voiceover narration it was Grogan, the filthiest, dirtiest, dumbest excuse for a man west of the Missouri River. Grogan, so, you can die two ways, angel, quick like the tongue of a snake, or slower than the molasses in January. Joan Wilder, voiceover narration but it was October. Grogan, I'll kill you, God damn it! if it's the 4th of July. Where is it? Ah. Uh, get over there. Joan Wilder, voiceover narration I told him to get out, now that he had what he came for. Grogan, not quite, Angel. Spitz Grogan, take him off. Do it. Come on. Angelina kills Grogan by throwing a concealed knife Joan Wilder, voiceover that was the end of Grogan. The man who killed my father, raped and murdered my sister, burned my ranch, shot my dog, and stole my Bible. I have seen it so many times I can play the movie in my mind. El Corazon? I love it so. Emma Thompson. The sound the paper made against the folder had the same tone as a wave scraping against sand. And when Harold thought about it, he listened to enough waves every day to constitute what he imagined to be a deep and endless ocean. That movie deserves to be much higher in the public consciousness than it is. Dame Maggie Smith edit, gave the lovely lady her proper title. I will not have you. Behaving like a babbling, bumbling, band of baboons. Viola Davis was the first that came to my mind. Allison Janey. The Jackal. Shore Agdashalu. C. Mass Effect, Arcane, and of course, The Expanse. Angela Lansbury Ada, thanks for all the awards and likes. Dumb story, but whatever. Friends and I were sitting around drinking and murder she wrote came up in conversation. For the life of us we couldn't think of the main actor's name. Someone was about to look it up, and I stopped them because it was on the tip of my tongue and wanted to figure it out. While I racked my brain the conversation changed but it still bothered me. I refused to look it up, 
but for weeks I tried to remember. Then while in line at the grocery store it just came to me. And I yelled Angela Lansbury. Every stopped and looked at me for a second. And that was it. Thanks for reading. Jessica Walter. I don't care for gob. Get rid of the seaward I'll leave when I'm good and ready. It's one banana, Michael. What could it cost, ten dollars? Here's twenty dollars, go see a Star War. For me, Jennifer Hale. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite comment in the comment section. Maya Angelou. The Ask Mojo Lady. Kate Mulgrew deserves at least honorable mention. My Space Mom? Yes. Absolutely. Kathy Bates. Now, listen here, Gabe. You're too fat. No one's gonna like you if you're too fat. I made some changes to my book. See if you like them. Shore Agadashlu, best known for her role in The Expanse, I guess. Tilda Swinton. Linda Hunt her God of War narration was pretty damn epic. Audie Cornish from NPR. Oh, so close. The correct answer is Terry Gross. Scarlett Johansson. Angela Bassett. It would be Terry Gross from the radio show Fresh Air. But not enough people listen to the radio anymore. Fran Drescher. Shore Agadashlu. Kate Mulgrew. Kathleen Turner. Kathleen Turner or Lauren Bacall. Jennifer Coolidge. Susan Sarandon. Linda Hamilton's, Sarah Connor's, exposition dialogue at the beginning of Terminator 2 is seared into my memory. Kristen Schaal. Claudia Black, Shore Agadashlu. Shore Agadashlu. Nina Simone. Katie Segal. Kathleen Turner. Joanna Lumley. Whoopi Goldberg. Any of the Redgrave clan. Whoopi Goldberg. Gillian Anderson. CCH Pounder. Sigourney Weaver. Jane Lynch. Kristen Bell XOXO. Shore Agadashlu. Shore Agadashlu. Shore Agadashlu. Shore Agadashlu. Laura Bailey. Phoebe Judge from the Criminal Podcast. Betty White. Holly Hunter. Sally Kellerman. Hear me out, Wanda Sykes she's got range, both emotional and vocal you always know it's her everyone has a visceral reaction when they hear her voice. Mila Kunis bonus when she speaks Russian or Ukrainian. Shore Agadashlu. Tara Strong. Shore Agadashlu YouTube.com. Eva Green. No one saying Sigourney Weaver yet? Shore Agadashlu, 100%. Gray Delisle or Tara Strong. Most people won't recognize the name but you've seen her in tons of things, Shore Agadashlu that voice and accent is amazing. Morgan Freeman. Scarlett Johansson. Sorry, I just like everything about her. Majel Barrett, the voice of Starfleet. Philomena Kunk. Helen Mirren. Francis McDormand was an excellent voice of God in Good Omens. Whoopi Goldberg. Fran Drescher. Brenda Vaccaro. Whoopi Goldberg. Like her or not, she has that golden voice. Therese No beating Shore Agadashlu for female voice impact. Wendy Malik. Emma Thompson. Shore Agadashlu, she's the actress with a very deep, textured voice who is in House of Sand and Fog, The Expanse, and Arcane League of Legends.